This great conjunction occurs every 20 years, uh, just to be clear, but uh, it has been nearly 400 years um, since a conjunction quite as spectacular as the one that we're seeing right now has occurred. And indeed, we won't see anything quite as amazing as this one for another 60 years until the year 2080. So back in 1623, as is happening tonight, Jupiter and Saturn came within just a small fraction of a degree uh, of one another in the sky. And it's a strange sort of thing to think about, but back then in 1623, the telescope, which is quite ubiquitous today, was about as novel an invention as the iPhone is to modern people. It was still quite a new uh, piece of technology. So in those days, the understanding of the planetary orbits and indeed what the planets really were was in its infancy. But yes, 400 years ago was the last time we saw one quite so special as this. And that's why astronomers are encouraging you to go out and take a look uh, this week. Okay. Well, not so easy to put a tele telescope in your pocket as it is an iPhone today and an iPhone which so many people are actually using to you know, look up at the sky to see exactly where Saturn and Jupiter is. But tell us how exactly does this differ from the last event 20 years ago then? 20 years ago was a bit different. Um, firstly, the, the two planets were not so close together in their apparent separation. Uh, they were actually more than one degree apart, uh, which is about twice the width of the full moon. Um, but this time they're only about one fifth or even one sixth the width of the full moon apart tonight, which makes it much more spectacular. And um, as you say, they're so close together that distinguishing them becomes a bit more challenging, although you can see them both with just your unaided eye, Jupiter, the brighter one, um, and Saturn, the fainter of the two. But also, uh, unlike 20 years ago, this time they're appearing in the evening sky rather than the morning sky, and they're also a bit farther away from the sun, which means we have more time to appreciate them after the sun goes down. Plus, of course, I think we have a lot more interest in astronomy now, which is fantastic. And so that just means that millions around the world will have an opportunity to witness this because there is uh, so much coverage, including the item that we're talking on right now, which is brilliant. Um, and what I will stress is that many of you will already have had a chance to see this if you're further out towards the east. Um, but if it's cloudy where you are, as it is here in London, where I am, then don't lose heart because throughout the week, and indeed uh, very much in, in keeping with the festive season, these two planets are going to be quite close to each other all week long. So it will be spectacular uh, on any clear evening that you have over the next week or so. Okay. Now tell us, because we've been talking in the newsroom quite extensively about this this afternoon, and there have been quite a few stories that this could have been the star of Bethlehem that led the three wise men to the baby Jesus uh, so many years ago. What are your, what are your views on that? Yeah, I will stress that um, as an astronomer with a background in astrophysics, I'm not uh, really a subject expert on this matter, but it is something that stargazers always take an interest in, how the stars have influenced um, our culture and societies over the ages. And what has become quite clear is that the star of Bethlehem itself is an important um, figurative element or almost like a character in the story of Jesus in Christianity. And so there is a lot of interest in whether or not an event in the sky could have corresponded. And indeed, a conjunction, a great conjunction, which is relatively rare, would be a pretty good contender for one of the things that could have inspired the Star of Bethlehem. We know that conjunctions of the planets do have a deep, long-held astrological significance, and astrology was very much the, uh, the key um, interest in the stars at the time that those texts were written.